Hey everybody, it's Christina. Welcome back. Today I thought I would do a quick demo of the gift box punch board. Super fun. Um, I really like making boxes and uh, I'm not one to try to go and figure out how to do the boxes. So I love this. It kind of takes all the work out of it for me. So I thought I would just do a quick demo and show you how this works. I'm going to do two different size boxes just to kind of show you how the start line and the diagonal line works. So we're going to start with the small, smallest box. So our box size is one and a quarter. Our paper size is 6x6, six six, which I have right here. Then our start line is at the small, which is here. And then our diagonal line, which is this side, is on the small as well. So I have my 6x6 six six pattern paper. And this comes from the flashback paper collection, if you guys wanted to check that out. I'm going to put my pattern paper in, line it up on the S for small on the start side. That's this side of our board. Going to do our punch. Going to take the... Uh, little scoring tool that's included and score all of our lines on the from the center and then also the dia diagonal line at the small. And I didn't po point this out but one thing I really love about this board is it does have an extendable arm that you can do longer pattern paper with this as well. So once we have that first section done we're going to go ahead and turn our paper onto the second side of our box. We're going to punch on or line it up on the small do our punch and then we're going to use our score tool. We're going to do the two center score lines and our diagonal at the small. So we'll turn our card pad, turn our pattern paper, punch, do the two score lines from the center and our diagonal line. And then our last side, we're going to line it up, do our punching. Oops and do our diagonal line. So then the next thing we want to do is we're going to take our pattern paper and just turn it over. Line it up again on our start line and this time all we have to do is punch on all four sides. So every time we turn it we line it up on the start line. Okay, so that is our envelope or our gift box. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and do the reverse punch, which is on this side. Smaller boxes, you kind of have to make sure that it's in there all the way. And you could do all four corners of your punch of your uh, box, but I only do two corners. I do one corner and then I do the opposite corner. So we're just going to go ahead and do that corner and then I'll go, turn it completely around and do the other corner. And then we'll go ahead and start putting this together. So I think I'm going to do, we're going to go with the, I think I like the stripes. So we're going to go with the stripes on the inside, or the outside, and the polka dots on the inside. So I'm folding all of the score lines. I'm going to do this on all of the sections. And then each of these corners right here is our diagonal lines that we scored. So we're going to go ahead and fold those in as well to make it a little easier when we go to put our, pox, our box together. And I'm doing this opposite of what my score lines were, so a little fight that a little bit. All right, so we have that all done. What we're gonna do next is start putting this together. I'm just gonna grab my adhesive and I am just going to take my um, adhesive here, and you could do one of two things. You can just do, if you put it on this way, you could put it adhesive on all four corners, and that'll hold it closed. Or I like to do is take the a little bit of adhesive and put it in different sections. So we're just gonna put them so they're on each side of here. And I'm also gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. And that'll hold, the box closed on the inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and put those together. So I adhered, put adhesive on the inside. Now I'm going to put some on the outside. I already put adhesive here, so I'm just going to go ahead and flip that in. I'll put some adhesive on the outside here. So that's what forms our box. We already have one side of our box formed. Again, I already put adhesive on the inside. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my adhesive to the outside. And then we can just go ahead and, and close this up. And
And see, I like to add the adhesive on the inside because then it keeps those flaps on the inside adhered to the side of our box. And now the next thing you do is you just close your little tabs and then you put your box together. I did find if I use too much adhesive that it's not as easy to slide these tabs together. So less adhesive actually works better because then it can slide the tabs together easier. So that's the smallest size of box, super cute. I actually am gonna be using this, I know this um, Christmas for making fudge. When I make my fudge, I always make little boxes and give them out, especially to my nieces and nephews because that's like their favorite treat. All right, so we're gonna do one more box just so, so I could show you how to do it when you've got um, two different lines. You have your diagonal line and your start line and your start line is different. So we're gonna do the next size box up, which is seven by seven pattern paper. And this box measures one and a quarter by one and one and three quarter, I mean, by one and three quarter by two and a half. And like I said, pattern paper is seven by seven. Your start line this time is also, again, small, but your diagonal line is medium. So we're gonna take our pattern paper, we're gonna put it right in here, start on our small. We're gonna do our punch line. Then we're going to go ahead and score from the center and score on the diagonal, which is medium. We'll go ahead and turn that around. We're gonna punch, score from the center, and then score in our diagonal. We'll punch this one more time on the next side. Do our two score lines from the center, our score line from the diagonal, and then our last time on this side is start line small, we'll punch, do our score lines and do our diagonal. And then again, we're gonna turn our pattern paper over, starting always on the start line. We're gonna punch all of the corners. Just like so. Now this time I'm not going to add or do my, um, my reverse punch. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the box together just to kind of show you how it works. So again, I'm gonna fold all of the score lines. And this box is a little bit deeper, which is a nice size box. Fold our tabs and all of our different score sections. All right, then we're gonna do our corners. I don't know if you guys can hear, but Ethan is practicing piano. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this together. So we're gonna do adhesive on each section, just a little bit, because remember if we add too much, it's not quite as easy to put those tabs on. And then we'll go ahead and start putting these in. We'll add our adhesive to the outside sections. So we have one half of our box put together so far, and then we're gonna go ahead and start doing the other side. So I'm gonna add adhesive to these sections here. Let's get this one since it's kinda already stuck down. We'll just go ahead and pop this one. And then I have to add a little adhesive right to this side over here. grab our bone folder, make sure those pieces are down in there. And then for this one, what I would do is just take a piece of ribbon. All right, so what I did was I just grabbed a piece of ribbon and I'm gonna use this as the way to hold my box closed this time. And this way, whoever gets the box can then go ahead and reuse it if they want to. So like I said, that smaller size box is gonna be Lots of fun for the Christmas times with um, giving fudge to my nieces and nephews. So that'll be a nice little thing to, to do. 
So those are the two different size boxes. Those are the smallest ones. I really like this size, but this one I think is going to be perfect for when I give out fudge this Christmas. Um, the envelope or the gift box punch board will be available August 28th. I'll have a link to my website below so that on the 28th, if you wanted to check it out, it'll be there for you to be able to order. So um, as always, if you have any questions, let me know. So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Here are a few other videos that you might find helpful. The first one is a video on how to use the envelope punch board. The second one is a video on how to use the circle cards thinlets. And the very last one is the tag topper punches. Don't forget to today, give today's video a big thumbs up and hit the little subscribe button to find out when I have more videos. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll catch everybody in the next video.